ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special bonus episode of Ape Word Podcast with your boys, Carlos and Raspeas. Carlos, how you doing? Good, man. I'm doing good, man. Getting ready, you know. It's, uh, we didn't talk about it much leading up, but it's WrestleMania week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm now, happy you told you me. Why don't you have a bigger smile? Yeah, <laughs> happy I told you. Listen, man, it's the one, it's the two nights we actually care. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I disagree. I mean, about <laughs> I WWE, I, Royal Rumble is the one night I care about. No, that's fair. Um, <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, I, I, I gotta be honest with you, I didn't watch it last year, and, um... I'm only going to be watching it even in the background this year live because we are doing an interview. So that that would yeah. be cool. Yeah, we do. We're interviewing a uh, a indie wrestler on yes. the rise. So yeah. jam packed week. See that next week. Yeah, we we spent two weeks not doing any episodes, and then we did a two part draft. Definitely, if you're listening <laughs> and to another this, episode. And, yeah, if if yeah. you're listening to this, definitely check both of these out that we're talking about. Uh, They're great. Uh, the the just draft watch part was awesome. Two. Just watch both. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Make it crazy. Watch part two, and then go back and watch part one, and then watch two yeah. again. Yeah, it's like, and know. then listen to them. Oh yeah, listen to them. And Try to visualize to what we're talking about yeah. without saying it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> subscribe. Yep, exactly. Make another YouTube account. Subscribe yeah. again. You know, all yeah, make that a lot stuff. of them. Yeah, it's fine. Start your own <laughs> podcast. Um, so this very quick bonus episode uh, is off to a great start. Um, so. <laughs> So, um, we are going to get right into this because we have two nights to cover in one bonus episode, and usually when we're talking about six matches, it takes us 45 minutes, so hopefully it won't. Um, so, I, uh, you didn't say you had anything to start off with, right? We're just going to get it's right just into a, it. Technically, what we're going to call the pre-show, which is... Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to start with. So, Smackdown. So, we are recording this on Thursday night. This Actually, this will be released Friday morning, so this will be actually released before SmackDown happens, um, yes. and if anything has shown us when we've done predictions, just me and you, or way back when I was with Walton, is that when we do these prediction things early, before the last SmackDown of a pay-per-view, more than likely some of these matches are going to change. It's just the reality of it. Um, so we will get what's out there now, and we will predict it. I, there's been times me and Walton literally has predicted like a week early, and then things changed on Raw, NXT, and yeah, SmackDown. <laughs> Dude, that's like the worst part. Because it really is like every week. It's just like... Yeah. Uh, so, uh, on that, I will... Um, we will run down the couple matches, I guess, they announced for SmackDown. And like you said, they're yeah. kind of like preliminary matches, right? Yeah. I, I, is there even I, a pre-show I wanted... for WrestleMania? Uh, that's why I'm confused at. Yeah, which is so it's it's weird. So what I wanted to complain about is this is more of me complaining for like two minutes. The Intercontinental title and the United States title are not going to be defended at WrestleMania when it's a two night event. That is utter horseshit. Product, please. Did you, oh yeah, please. Sparkling Sponsors. ice, sparkling ice. It's not, it's not alcohol and wine. Like, any kind of wine. I was just saying it's tequila, not alcohol like anything. Carlos always asks for sponsors, but sparkling ice. I you want, want to sponsor well, us? I love your black cherry. Just saying, sparkling ice. Mix that with some Terramana tequila. Oh, yeah. Rock. yeah. I'm pretty it's sure if you rain. ask, they have a little thing written down on the side. It's so cool. <laughs> not not to promote this stuff. It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to see. But if you look down it as you drink, it says, ask your smart speaker to launch sparkling ice maker. And it legit tells you to tell them what flavor sparkling ice you have. And they'll tell you what to mix it with. Um, with alcohol wise? Yeah, yeah. And they'll say, oh. or just say random, and they'll just give you a random one. It was so okay. it was so funny because it mixes in with the color of the drink, and I'm like, do they like expect kids not to like read their bottle after they drink because it's all alcoholic stuff? But, yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, I'm stealing daddy's liquor right now. Yeah, so uh, there goes that. So if you heard this out there, see, I, I love the fact that you did that and sponsor yeah, us. Yeah, please sponsor us. Yeah. Please, God, we need the money. <laughs> Uh, we need to quit our regular jobs. We need to do this full time. Please, God. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I wanted to complain. Uh, the IC title and the US title, not at all whatsoever on the main card either night one, night two. I'm assuming there's not going to be pre show like kickoff matches those nights either. There shouldn't be. It's a two night WrestleMania. But this is bullshit, dude. Come on. I don't know. Make... They should make SmackDown the Hall of Fame. 
let's just do that from now on, right? Uh, but yeah, we have Ricochet defending his title against Herberto and Angel Garza. I'm gonna say Ricochet's winning. What do you think? Um. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I there no I'm not even gonna get into it. Yeah. I yeah. I don't see them putting on either one of them after Ricochet <laughs> just winning it recently. I, exactly. And then next we have uh the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale. I don't know if there's any other matches, but this is the two that are listed. So we have what the the list I have here is R Truth, Shelton Benjamin, Robert Rude, Eric, Finn Balor, Drew Gulak, Akira Tozawa, Ivar, Jinder Mahal, Cedric Alexander, Apollo Cruz. Shaky, Mad Cat Moss, Damian Priest, Commander Aziz, Mansoor, Reggie. And I want to just go out on a limb here and say, what the hell? Most of these people were on the main event. Less, you know, they were on WrestleMania. Like, yeah. Apollo Crews won the IC title. Uh, Damian Priest had the celebrity match with Bad Bunny. Uh, Commander Aziz debuted, like, last WrestleMania. Uh, what the hell is going on? <laughs> yeah, I, I, why? I, see, see, I, I will, I will say this, and, and you, you said about get like just making SmackDown the um, uh, the Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame. Uh, I don't mind if they promote it SmackDown as the pre-show for WrestleMania. If they essentially promoted it that way and made it that mm. way and said, hey, instead of us doing pre-show matches each night for WrestleMania, because in reality, it, like when me and Walton went to Dallas, which that's where it is again this year, funny enough, uh, when they had their first one in the new stadium, uh, it was cool. You got to go see, you know, I, I don't think they had SmackDown then because SmackDown was on Tuesday, but had SmackDown been on Friday then, um, I'm sure they would have had, you would have had SmackDown um, you know, the weekend stuff, uh, WrestleMania on Sunday and then Monday, but it was like a whole weekend thing. Cause uh, access was like on Thursday and Friday or whatever. That's right. Um, that so sense. I would have thought it would have been cool instead of maybe spent now again, that was the one day event that was like seven hours. So the pre-show thing seemed useless then where now you split into two nights. But if that's what you promote at your SmackDown is, is like, hey, get tickets to all four of these shows. SmackDown is be- basically our pre-show matches. So your your Worksman title. This would have been nice to have Finn Balor defend the title, Ricochet defend the title, have one of the tag team matches. You know, something that you, you're going to put in or pre-show the anyway. Yeah, yeah, and count it as like a third night of WrestleMania. You know, like basically, hey, it, it, that yeah, that's that what work. they could have done. Um, and, and maybe that's what they're trying to aim for with this because then Raw becomes the fallout plus surprise call-ups and all that shit. Yeah, um, the beginning the ne- the beginning of the next year. Yeah, yeah. so that if that's what they're going for here, uh, then fine, I guess. Yeah. But I think it needs to be like not just called WrestleMania SmackDown or whatever they called it. I think, I think this was called, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that that's it. I, I'm <laughs> a little disappointed by that. And then no. I, I wanted to touch base real quick about the um, who you have just winning the Hall of Fame. I think it's a great, it's a great. Uh, I think that one of the best classes for the Hall of Fame. Yeah, did you know that? You know the whole class. Um, hold on, I'm gonna try to go off my head real quick again. This is all off my head. I know there's Vader. I know it's the Steiner brothers. I know Shad is getting the ultimate uh, thing. Is it Tori Wilson? The women's. No, uh, Charmel, Queen Charmel. Charmel, okay, okay. Um, mm-hmm. who is the uh, Undertaker? Duh. I was like, I know, I know the main one. Um, yeah. Who else that's has it. been announced? That's it. That's it. Unless some surprise happens tomorrow, which I doubt it, but that's I, I, I like highly doubt because tomorrow like, is the Hall of Fame. I, I feel like they're missing a celebrity. There's not a celebrity. Yeah, I think they're keeping it low key again. I mean, I'm assuming next year they'll probably be back to normal. Uh-huh. But yeah, there's no celebrity this year. This is this is a tight one, and everyone is in there. Yeah, you know, everyone. Well, you know, everyone who's alive is in their like right state of mind, except for Steiner. Probably he's probably gonna do some Steiner math. <laughs> um, we don't know who's all like presenting, you know, or inducting. Right. So like, well, at least for the Steiners, we don't know. We know Booker T's inducting his wife, uh, Queen Charmel, which is awesome. Uh, okay. Mick Foley is yeah. inducting Vader, which I think is awesome. 
Um, way past time for Vader to get in there. I think that's awesome. Vince is doing The Undertaker. I'm sure that'll take a bulk of the show. And then uh, I'm assuming, I'm going to go out of my way and assume Braun Breaker inducts his dad and uncle um, into it. And this is big, actually. I don't know if you realize, like, Scott has not done anything with WWE. Yeah. Since he left it, he's been bad mouthing them very vo- he's been very vocal about them. Yeah, and I know that was one of the rumors was they were wondering like would it be Rick um by himself or would it be the Steiner yeah. brothers? So yeah, I, I mean you, it's the one thing in wrestling you never say never, right? It, 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 so weird, uh, I, I mean it's weird to just have this small amount. Uh, there's usually maybe like they're trying to cut couple- on time. Yeah, and, and I guess I get that. Uh, now, if you remember, we did our um, Hall of Fame thing, and I think basically what we did, right, we did like a, um, a heavyweight, a worker, a tag team, mm-hmm. women's Woman celebrity, celebrity, and then we might have done one other extra, I don't remember off the top of my head, um, if we did like announcers or something like that, I think we did. Maybe. Uh, which I can understand that not being, but there's always been a celebrity wing, so that's kind of weird, um, I think. Uh, I know yeah, the warrior, it, and then the warrior ward is like that kind of side uh, yeah. thing. And yeah. I mean, this he's Chaz the most like yeah. deserving. Uh, but I, of I, this I just award. think I think that's the only thing missing right here is a celebrity. Mm-hmm. They've had enough celebrities throughout their time. They they could add any celebrity. Also, here. I'm 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 gonna say uh, not not no offense to Dana Warrior. I know she's the one who usually is presenting, but I I think she should do a portion, and I, I feel it's really under under deserved. For JTT not to come out and in like speak more about Chad, and you never know. I mean, I, true, true. He yeah. could, yeah. yeah. But as so far, we it seems like no. But but I think that's I, one of those things. That I, could be a nice there's surprise. no offense to her. She she seems like an actual good person, unlike her husband. <laughs> um, who was that, not. That's something that could be a surprise, though. Yeah, um, true, true, true. Okay, so let's, yeah, let's, let's not focus that, on that's that. That's it, man. Hold on. It's Who, a good Hall of Fame. SmackDown, I'm annoyed. Yeah, now, I, I like the fact that there's less in the Hall of Fame, and I feel like it's a yeah. good one. I, I feel like you, you hit... Uh, I feel like I could watch it No, start to No knock on Charmel. There's probably other females that are not in there yet that could be. But um, it's supposed to be kind of about The Undertaker, and in all honesty, the Steiners are a big name. And Vader is a name that people have been waiting to get in there for forever. Uh, so a name that might not stand out to most people for the women's is probably a good time, and especially because it's Texas, too. I think that's the other thing. That's true. Um, that's very true. I don't know. I'm assuming she's from Texas, too. I know Booker T is, right? So She is now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. She is so, now. And it could just, marry. Yeah. When you marry a Texan, you're just in Texas forever. Um, that's your home now. But on that, um, who do you have winning that battle royal? Oh, that was actually Ballard. who I was asking. Uh, Balor or Priest, like either or. Balor or Priest. I'm I'm going Probably Priest. I'm going Priest. That's where. Yeah. That's where my head. I I'm going Priest. Hold on, you pick two. So you said Balor or Priest. My mm. two, because my initial instinct was here, is Priest or Commander Aziz. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I was thinking big guys, right? Yeah. I mean that we've we've had some bad. Andre Giant, um, Mojo Raleigh comes to mind. So I yeah. feel like sometimes they try to use yeah, we this had for... good ones. Broken Matt Hardy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway. We see how how uh, Woken first of all. Let's oh, get this right. Yeah, woken. He wasn't broken yet. Yeah. I couldn't be broken legally. Not at the time. <laughs> um, okay. So uh, now that we got through the pre-show um, and the Hall of Fame. We'll go to night one, and we will kind of try to run down all this as quickly as we can. So I will start with the top one, and that is Becky Lynch versus Bianca Belair for the Raw Women's Championship. Yeah, um, I am. uh, I'm gonna go with Bianca. Um, I, but that's me hoping that WWE is like, hey, this is long book storytelling. She lost 30 seconds, you know, SummerSlam. We're making up for it in WrestleMania. That's my hope, but it is WWE. Um, I'm exactly. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't. Not gonna repeat what you said because mm-hmm. I'm. I, but I'm. I'm the same idea. I think this was booked purely to make up for the backlash of last year. Mm-hmm. Um. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I think yeah. that's that's 
I'm pretty sure that's all this is. I hope that's all this is. And now in WWE, it would not surprise me that they make good on that just as much as it wouldn't surprise me that Becky Lynch beats her just as fast. Yeah. Um, um. Sadly, yeah. <laughs> if, it's, if it's not as fast and Becky wins, I'm okay. Yeah. I'm yeah. At least, at okay. least give it. Yeah. They have to give them time. It, it can't be another mm-hmm. squash, basically. Like at WrestleMania. No, both of them deserve better. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right, well, the, we're in agreement there that Bianca's mm-hmm. the new women's champion. Uh, so now we go Ray and Dominic versus The Miz and Logan Paul. Uh, I, you know what? I want Ray and Dominic to win. I think Miz and Logan Paul win. Yeah. I, I, Miz I, lost last year. I I'm usually go with celebrities in these matches, too. Mm-hmm. Good, bad, or indifferent. Um, celebrities, I feel like, almost never lose. At WrestleMania, which makes sense. I mean, you put them out there. I, I doubt Snooki was going to go in to WrestleMania losing. <laughs> we'll have to talk about this as a topic later, like later down the line. But like, I think you're right. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I ha- have lost at like has it happened? Uh, possibly, but I'm I sure it has. Off the top right? of my head, I can't. Like, I'm even thinking you had uh, Floyd uh, Mayweather against Big Show. Mayweather won. won. Um. Yeah. Stephen, I mean, it's not WrestleMania, but Stephen Amell won. Yeah, I feel like when you have the one offs yeah, from won. celebrities, they don't lose, which kind of LT makes. Won. Uh, and you know what? You technically have one celebrity match on both shows, so you'll probably get. Oh both yeah, ways. technically. Um, unless huh. you want to consider Pat McAfee a celebrity too, and then you have two on the night too. But either yeah, way, he's roster now. Yeah, the Miz and Logan <laughs> Paul, I think, will win. Yeah, I, I just, I. As much as I want to see Mysterious win, I'd be surprised if Logan Paul loses. Yeah. Um, hey, and Dominic, he can lose. It's fine. He's got the, the rest of his career in WWE. The only way Miz and Logan Paul lose is if Logan Paul turns on the Miz in some way to like help the Mysterious win. Uh, the, okay. the, the celebrities always come out on top, I guess is what I should say in these things. Yeah, so, I got you. I got you. Uh, but yeah. I'm a Miz fan, and he's on my roster in the draft, so I'm going Miz Logan Paul. Okay. Uh Next match, we got this. Drew McIntyre versus Happy Corbin. Drew McIntyre. I wish they would call him Baron again. Yeah, I, I'm not wasting a whole lot of breath on this, Drew McIntyre. Uh, I love Baron Corbin. I hate Sad Corbin, Happy Corbin, Love One is Luck Corbin. Um, yeah. I, like, I like the man. Yeah. I just, I, I'm just i not the biggest fan of the character, but I've seen interviews of him as a person, and mm-hmm. I'm like, man, I love this dude. This I, dude's hilarious. I think he... He could be, um, and I'm going to go out on a way, way big limb here, but he could be like what we out? view MJF as with AEW a little bit. Uh, he could have been for them. He gets yeah. such a fucking heel reaction. Yeah. And I feel like they did all that whole Shorty Gable stuff and all the other stupid joke gimmicks and dog food. I mean, literally, when me and you first started talking, oh we used to send memes. And the, you know. But I, I feel like they've, they have dicked his character around so much that it's hard to take him serious. And mm-hmm. yet he still gets good reaction for what he needs. Yeah. So That's true. That's um, very true. Yeah. I think he's very underrated as a performer. Maybe not the best wrestler, yeah. but performer. Um, all right. So now we got the Usos against Nakamura and Rick Boogs for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Uh, I'm going to give the Shisuke and Boogs. I think this is the only this is the only blemish on the Bloodlines night. One or two. Spoilers for my pick for night two, but... Yeah, I think I think it's fine. The Usos will lose this, and they'll win it again down the line. It's not a big deal. Um, I'm going Usos. I, I just yeah. I don't know. I've n- I've never been a fan. I, not to say Nakamura and Boogs. I know they've been working together for a while, right? How it's lucky not, is Boogs for that? They're not. <laughs> huh? I say how lucky is Boogs? Like, yeah, but like they've been a team with one literally one of the best wrestlers ever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I I don't know. I don't like when I look at like teams and I feel like they're not usually a team team gotcha, gotcha, um, gotcha. i don't know i'm always partial to that but you're, you're probably right i don't know i haven't been watching wwe but i'll go with the usos um mm-hmm. retaining their titles here 
and because I already had one total change. So okay. uh, now we got Kofi Kingston, Xavier Woods against Sheamus and Ridge Holland. With Butch in their corner. Mm. So originally this was supposed to be a six-man tag. And obviously he okay. broke his neck. So that's why it's, it's just right. going to be Sheamus and Ridge with Butch in their corner. And who used to be Pete Dunn yeah. uh, versus Kofi and Xavier. Uh, I am going with Sheamus and Ridge, by the way, on this one. Okay. Um, Which gets th- involved. This, uh, I went back and forth. Um, I'm basically 50-50. I will play devil's advocate and go with the New Day. Um, but I, this, this... I want them to win. You know how much of a fan I am. This is one of the Asa most... Asa knows how much of a fan I am. <laughs> this is one of the most 50-50 matches, I think, out of all of them. Where I'm like... Yeah. I, I don't think it hurts the new day to have them lose. Like you said, no. Butch is there. I could see them winning because of having the third man. He kind of needs to go over, especially on the main roster now. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I mean, in, in reality, they could have just made this a four team ta- SmackDown tag team championship match. Gotcha. And just yeah. put them and all together. Had that story. Yeah, I, that's fair. I, I feel like it's kind yeah. of random on the card. I mean, I know they're building the story and stuff. I just, it just feels a bit random on the card. I agree. Um, I agree. So it feels like, and this is no offense to the participants. It feels like a normal, like raw or SmackDown match. Absolutely. If they do pre-show, this is the pre-show match. Um, you know, I don't know that they will, but if they have one pre-show match, this will probably be it because it feels that way. Um, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so next on the line, we have Seth Rollins against vacant. Uh, I mean, Vacant is the most dominant champion in <laughs> WWE or any actually wrestling promotion in history. So uh, it has to be Vacant. I mean, he's the most dominant <laughs> champion ever. I'm, um, I'm upset because I feel like WWE is going to dig Vacant over once again and replace him before he gets well, a chance to get minute. his yeah. WrestleMania moment. That's what's really... And, and they may do it with like a second generation star. You know, that's not fair. <laughs> you know, it just shows the nepotism in I WWE. I know, Bray Wyatt has not been around for a while. I know, what the fuck? So yeah, this is Cody, right? <laughs> Cody's debuting in WrestleMania, or which you mentioned Mel- Melter before we started filming. You said he Melter. said people close to him or something said about him backing out, or not not that he was going to back out. Uh, he did Melter did what Melter does, and it's um, talk outside of both sides of his mouth. He basically <laughs> Cody's definitely going to be his there, mouth and his ass. Cody's his definitely going to be there. Oh, by the way, if Cody doesn't show up, it's because he decided to back out. Not because Meltzer was wrong, because Cody decided it wasn't right for him. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure Vince is like, hey, I signed you. You don't want to be at WrestleMania. You want to be at Monday night? All right. I will trust your judgment here, Cody. Like, um, it's Meltzer being Meltzer. I I don't know. I I am intrigued, though, at the, if this is Cody, um, at the possibility of us hearing, um, kingdom Mm. his his aew or his independent and aew theme um and for all intents and purposes apparently he's just picking up where he left off in january i feel bad for this match and just being honest um it's it's rough right it needed build I i have a really hard time seeing cody getting cheered over seth rollins I know Seth Rollins is a bad guy, but like Seth Rollins still gets cheers. I just, I have a he's hard. Like, he's like a chaotic neutral Joker. Yeah, I have a, right? just a weird time with this. Like, unless this, it weirdly to me feels like Seth Rollins is gonna win. <laughs> like, I feel like it's wow. set up. So, to give yeah, Seth Rollins, like, this is what you get for making another fucking company, well, piece I, of shit. But I don't think it's a negative on Cody. I think no. I just feel like it's like another feather in Seth Rollins' cap, if that makes sense. Um, you know, like um, Cody was handpicked by Vince. Seth Rollins wanted his moment, and he got his moment again. Um, like, look, Seth Rollins can't even beat by somebody he doesn't know it's coming in who is a second generation. Like, Cody gets his revenge at the next pay per view or on Monday or something like that. Um, yeah. It just has Seth Rollins winning this written all over it. So I'm going to go Seth Rollins on this. 
Um, over Cody, I think it's going to be Cody too. I just, it's so weird. I, what if it's Marco Stunt? He put that, that gift <laughs> up too. I, that, first of all, someone, I think Asa said it. That'd be a banger of a match. <laughs> and I agree with Asa. That actually would be a decent match. Um, I mean, then Seth is hold handily winning that. I, um, you, you did a really good job. I, you almost convinced me to switch, but I'm going to, I'm going to stick with Cody. Yeah. Um, listen, I mean, I've talked over with the entrance ramp guys like Mark multiple times. Like just because it's obvious doesn't mean it can't be good. Um, yeah. And, and that's, you and know, that's even my problem with it is the obvious. I mean, we've seen AEW come out with some obvious stuff and I've been happy with it. I just, I'm not, I'm not a Cody fan. I wasn't a Cody fan from day one of the buy and uh, not buy in the, all in, all out, all this stuff. Uh, I wasn't a fan of Cody in WWF, WWE, whatever. I think I've said this to you before, that Ted DiBiase Jr. was the guy I was more excited for out of that, um, that was it, Legacy? Right? Legacy, yeah. Um, I like Cody. I think he's a very good mid-carder. Um, I think he is built like a mid-carder. Uh, we seen how short he is in person. Um yeah, that dude's not six foot. He just he if he's six foot, I'm six two. And I'm not a person who's like, hey, height has anything to do with being a champion. Mm-hmm. He just doesn't present himself to me as a champion. It's it. Yeah. I feel the same way about Ricochet, and I think I told you that I view Finn Balor as uh, like a step B-plus below player. the main event. Said- <laughs> like I, I yeah, B plus player. Like I, he's. He is Pac. Uh, Pac, I feel the same way. Yeah. I love Pac. Pac's my favorite out of all that group that I just said. But Pac has... I compete for the championship once every six months, but never win it. Feel to him. And that's what Finn Balor to me has. is He's a transitional champion. A quick once-over champion to let somebody get the title back. Whatever. I don't view him that way. But Cody, I view as a mid quarter always have yeah. always will i did not like the fact that they were going to bring him in to a place with hangman and omega and make me believably think that he is on their level because i don't think he that or jericho you know any any of pock i don't think cody's on pox level as far as performer and believability so then you throw in all those other guys in AEW, and cody just kind of fell down the wayside uh, you know, uh, but to me, I was never upset about it because I don't think he's that guy. So when I look at Cody versus Seth, I you, you're I, Seth, yeah, yeah. Unless Cody rolls him up out of nowhere without Seth paying attention, like I don't, I don't believe that Cody, all things being equal, is a better wrestler than Seth, or that can beat Seth, and Seth's not even their champion. <laughs> So, like, you know, I, I don't know. I got you. I got you. Uh, Wait, it, it's funny in this situation, though, if, if Cody comes out and Cody wins, it, it's similar to Becky coming back at SummerSlam and being Bianca. Yeah. I mean, it, it, I would, God forbid it's the same amount of time. I hope not. But <laughs> if it's if it's a decisive win, it's like, wow. So, you know, these people just got almost fed to like this another person. I don't know. It's there's, there's a frustration angle to it. I think in it to sound hypocritical when the Hardys, they redebuted in WWE after that crazy whirlwind weekend in, in New Orleans, this was 30, right? WrestleMania 30. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, okay. that was insane because literally there was no, and I'm pun intended on this one, no writing on the wall. You know, now the on, the only thing that was thrown out there was that they were going to be around WrestleMania weekend, yeah. just like hundreds of and other competed, wrestlers were. Yeah, they competed on ROH. They competed at. I'm you know, pretty other sure stuff. they said like an hour before they were at some type of like signing or something like that. Mm-hmm. Like they had to yeah. sneak them away real quick to get in there. Yeah, um, yeah. Which is, I mean, that that story is interesting and it, it's very cool. And them being entered in that match and winning the raw titles that night i think did not take away from those teams this is a different situation because we've had build up to cody possibly debuting now you know re-debuting saturday now let let me throw this out there Sami Zayn mm-hmm. is still 
the um the Intercontinental Champion, right? Was it who's the Intercontinental? No, no, no. Ricochet is. No, Sami Zayn was the Intercontinental Champion. Yes, he lost sorry. To Ricochet, right? Yeah, yeah, I I I worded that wrong. I said is. I meant to say was. Um, when I were an alternate universe. Sami mm-hmm. Zayn is still a champion. He's not done in this thing with Johnny Knoxville. Or hell, he shows up and defends the title against Knoxville and beats him like that. Mm-hmm. And he's sitting there and he's saying, this is a joke. There's no reason Johnny Knoxville should have wrestled me at WrestleMania. I'm, a, you know, I want somebody in the back to actually give me a WrestleMania match. Q Cody. We know Cody's coming. Q Cody for that match. He comes out, wins Intercontinental title, beats Sami Zayn billion time different feel to him showing up right now just a billion time different Mm -hmm. you know you got Sami Zayn basically goes out and embarrasses Johnny Knoxville he's got that heat coming on him um and that because we're like Cody's gonna show up but where there's nowhere for him um well here we go yeah Yeah. and then he comes out wins a title so now he comes wins a title it makes him feel you know Sami Zayn just wrestled a match before it and he did, you know, there's just all this just extra to it backlash, yeah. that, 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 that has a different feel to it. I, I'm going to be cheering for Seth Rollins <laughs> to win. And I feel like a lot of people are like, how do you put a guy like that? That's coming out in a 50, 50, like that was like the Hardys. Remember the new day where the hosts and everybody thought that new day, were going to put themselves in the match. Right. Yeah. And then yeah, it yeah, turned yeah. into Hardys. That's like the new day, putting themselves in the match and then also putting the Hardys in that match. And you're like, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. Now you're splitting the fan reaction because you just got them excited about the new day. And then now you're expecting mm-hmm. a bigger reaction for the Hardys, which they would have gotten, but it would have been less because people would yeah, have already and, been excited and, for the new day. And if Seth wrestles anybody else, I'm, you know, I'm not going to be upset. And then if Cody debuts Monday, I think that might work a little better. Yeah. Um, but if he does debut Saturday and win, uh, who, that's who I'm going for. I'm going to, I would go Cody. Yeah. In this instance, uh, it does. I don't think it hurts Seth. Um, I, I'm I'm really interested to see where Cody would land in this new landscape. Especially, we'll get it to night two and talk about some of the rumors at the very end. But right. we can we can keep going. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I knew that one was going to be big because we really don't know for it, sure. You have it's to. Cody. Yeah. This this is the only time we yeah. we have a chance to talk about it. Yeah. yeah. This, this is the thing that eats up. We were like, yeah, twenty <laughs> minutes, forty minutes. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so we got Charlotte Flair and Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Um, I'm hoping Charlotte. It's probably gonna be Rousey though. I I mean we we've talked about this with me with WWE and and now that I've become an, a very very casual watcher, if they, I mean that's probably speaking highly of it. Um, Generous, yeah. I want Ronda Rousey to win. Um, I, I just. I almost picked her in our draft, and I feel like I would have gotten bigger backlash than when I took Orange Cassidy um, <laughs> if I took Rousey there. But I'm fine with that because I don't care. It's the same reason why I like Shayna Baszler, the same reason why I like Marina Shafir. Um, there's legitimacy to it. Um, there's real legitimacy, and honestly, I, I don't... From... There's been, I think, three matches listed as the main event for the night, and that's been the real problem. We don't really know what we're getting as the main event. Because, yeah, night two is clear cut. Yeah, night like, one, we're really so up in the air. I mean, for years now, Vince has been calling six matches a night the main event, and that's what I think the real problem is. But when he tells Seth Rollins that he's going to get his WrestleMania moment, he says in the main event of night one. He flat out says in the main event of night one. Um, the Austin Owens segment that we're going to get to next has been – booked as being the main event and before all that charlotte and ronda was announced as the main event for night one um i have a feeling they're going to call seth rollins match a co-main event then we're going to get charlotte and rousey as the main event and then austin and owens is going to be like the main segment like it's going to end. I don't know. I just. I've, it's very interesting to end a WrestleMania with a segment, right? I yeah. mean, but that's kind of the opportunity you have in front of you with splitting night one and night two, and it's it's a very very American wrestling, you know, professional wrestling to have a segment, a promo, basically a a you know a talking segment be the end of your WrestleMania. But yeah, I mean, there's rumors it's going to get physical, obviously. And the, it's kind of, it's funny. This kind of, this rolls already to what we're talking about, like Owens and, and Austin. But yeah, I, I, I think that sounds right. Like these three, 
co-main event, co-main event, last segment, main segment. I'm sure they'll tease all night, you know. It's, like, it's weirdly... Un- coming at the end of the night. See, I, and I'm going to say this is typical WWE written all over it, though, because it's like, hey, we got a women's match main event in one night, and we got a men's match main, main event in the other night. It's like, uh, well, it's the main event, but really it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah exactly yeah that that's that's the and issue like, it should be decisive yeah but. like oh wait and no I, it's fair because we call seth rollins thing the main event too so we're this is not sexist here this is not we yeah. can't trust women to end and, it they're doing and the same even thing if it that. was rollins and and cody as the actual main event for night one i'm okay with that because i as a lifelong wrestling fan i'm 35 cannot fathom a segment being the end of a night of WrestleMania or, you know, I can't fathom that. I'm only okay with that. And, and I mean, I guess we both said, you said Charles, I said Rousey. So we are on this yeah. last thing here. I'm only okay with this being the main part of the night one. If it leads to a match in night two. Okay. Um, I don't see it happening, but I feel like, if if they get in there and things get a little physical and and you know they get broken up and it's like you have Vince come out and say, you know, damn it Austin, you know, I invited you, you here and stuff like that. Like I don't care that you're ro- retired, god damn it, you know. Tomorrow night awesome. you're gonna get you you know, you against Kevin Owens in a street fight or whatever the hell they do, so Austin doesn't have to have a legitimate mm-hmm. wrestling match. Um like that makes ending the night on that worth it because now you're building excitement for night two um out of it uh that's the only thing that i see (laughs) uh really yeah no i I uh, mean it honestly works dude i i i I don't have any faith i was like uh in everything i've said so far um, this is a year to year thing with WWE. Uh, I mean, we hope for Bianca getting revenge. I, I just probably not. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm hoping for something better out of Cody and Seth Rollins. Probably not. Um, I no, just, I, I think it has a chance of stealing the show. I'm more high though, to be fair on um, Cody than, than a lot of people are. It's not, it's not just about that. I, I just, I feel like it's going to feel as random as it feels. I don't think they have any real other than it's Cody. Yeah, you know I mean, like I don't think there's any direction to it. Like they've made this whole thing about Seth Rollins and I'm really upset I'm going to say this and please don't kill me for if you're listening to this. Um it's not like Cody Rhodes is Goldberg coming out. And this is not, it's, it's not a, it, that is not a, um, see, I see where you're going. It's not a Cody Rhodes is not as good as Goldberg in the ring. I am, I am not, I am not downplaying Cody Rhodes abilities. Cody Rhodes, I would prefer to watch a hundred times out of a hundred over Goldberg. But if I'm watching as a casual viewer watching WrestleMania, some people are not going to know who the fuck Cody Rhodes is. (laughs) Yeah, it's just chance. the reality yeah. of it. They're not. There's a chance. Yeah. Um. You know, I I, d- I don't think AEW fans are going to start watching WrestleMania to see if Cody shows up. Um, and casual fans don't know who the fuck he is because casual fans, and I'm saying casual as in people that are half or under our age, is what I'm considering their audience who only tune in for WrestleMania. Well, no, uh, hold on. They're hardcore fans. I don't care. They're hardcore fans. Now, they're teenagers, right? They're young kids. They're younger than us. They don't know who the fuck Dusty Rhodes is. They think he's the name of the tag team tournament in NXT. They don't realize that he's a wrestler. I, there's definitely people out there. Yeah. There's legit There's legit worried that people are not going to be excited about Stone Cold because he hasn't wrestled in 20 years. Think about that. No knock on Dusty, but Stone Cold is way more recent than Dusty Rhodes <laughs> Yes. No, no, you're not wrong. And Cody was being booed by his own fans before he came here. Like, it's not like people were like, oh, my. I, I know people are upset because it's weird because he's one of the EVPs. But, like, I, I don't know. That's why I think it's just so weird to me. I, I know it's weird to a lot of people, too, in, in this sense. Yeah. That it's just 
I don't know. If it's done right, it can, like you said, it could be the best na- match of both nights. I I just feel like they painted themselves into a really weird, awkward corner. Well, the build-up did help, you know? Yeah. Like, that's that's why I said you need, like, a, a Undertaker to come out. Like, that's what... That's the kind of pop that they need. They need it to not promote Stone Cold and Stone Cold come out. Like that's what they need it for. This that help Kevin Nash. Okay. Scott Hall passing away. Kevin Nash comes out. You know, something like that um, would have been a humongous pop. Cody. I don't know. All right, um, we'll <laughs> I could see. spend yeah, 20 we'll more minutes see. talking about that, but we're already at 40 here. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> we still got night two to go on. Thankfully, there I think there's gonna be quick. There's a lot of glance over on this. Um, so we got night two. We have the four way women's tag team match: Carmella and Queen Zelina versus Liv Morgan and Ray Ripley versus Natalia and Shayna Baszler versus Naomi and Sasha Banks. Who you have winning? Liv and Rhea. This is what I love about multi-man matches, which, weirdly enough, is this the... No, this night has two of them, okay. As I say, usually yeah, there's yeah. more multi-man matches on a WrestleMania, and that was a little weird, too, to me. Yeah, I'm also rooting um, for Naomi and Sasha, because I love them, too, and yeah. it's cool that they're together, I, but... I'm Leo going Shane in and uh, tell you. So, oh, there you go. I find it funny that we're... <laughs> you talked about yeah. the two other teams. I, I think neither one of us is going Carmelo Queen Selena in any way, shape, or form. No, oh, the writing on the wall are there. Yeah. They're breaking up. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm a huge Baszler fan, and I've not hidden that. So, um, And Natalia is a worker, so I'd like them to give... Workhorse of that whole division. Yeah, I'd like them to give Shayna something um substantial Same, yeah but i could yeah, see I'm actually i'm not upset if anybody wins yeah um yeah I, now i'm I, happy all of them have a shot and are on wrestlemania yeah I, the live morgan Rhea ripley I, I think that naomi sasha banks the only reason i'd be eh is because i loved watching sasha and bailey as a team so yeah um i feel like it's like putting kofi kingston in a match with Sheamus is his partner right now to win the titles. It's almost like putting Kofi and CM Punk together after so many years. It's like, (laughs) well, you guys are in two different places now. Like, same thing with Naomi and Sasha. Like, Uh, they were a team, and now here they are teaming up again. It's like, well, I'm not upset by this. I really like this, but you guys are in so many, it's like different paths now than you were back then. Um, Yeah. So, all right. Not to spend too much time on this stuff. Johnny Knoxville versus Sami Zayn. Uh, same as Z. I'm going Knoxville. Knoxville's <laughs> gonna bump like crazy, though. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what. That's what I think. This is get hurt. <laughs> he will. I'm trying to think who Sami Zayn. This might be where you see Ricochet. Maybe I don't know. I'm trying to think. Yeah. I, I feel like Knoxville is gonna get help from somewhere, and it's going to lead into a Sami Zayn versus somebody um, feud. I, I feel like, but again, same thing. Celebrity. Um, I I think this is more set in stone that Knoxville is going to win than um, Logan Paul winning the other one. Because, like I said, I think Logan Paul could turn on the Miz. Um, yeah. But Talked I think himself the match. But, yeah. yeah. I mean, this is chicken shit, Sami Zayn heel. You know, super over Johnny it. Knoxville. Mm-hmm. Like this has the writing on the wall more than the other one that Knoxville is going to win. Uh, Pat McAfee versus Austin Theory. Um. I'm going to go with my heart, even though I don't think he's going to win, but I'm going to go for Pat McAfee. I agree with you. Same thing. I, I feel like it's with my heart. I want to see Pat McAfee win. Um, I think... oh, also like the guy who doesn't like continue to sex teenagers to continue to have a career, but I have no choice in that in WWE. I think it makes the most sense to have Austin Theory win um, for, yeah. for, for his sake. Of- I mean, we see the future. Yeah, we seen it happen with Drew McIntyre, where you know Vince oh, pinpoints him, one. and then you're like, "Why are you fifty fifty booking a guy that you called the chosen one?" So I think if Austin Theory is in theory um, the guy, yeah, then he should be able to beat an announcer who's had one match. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
<laughs> it's gonna be a good match though yeah Definitely gonna and be that's a good match. yeah uh, this this is one of those few times where i'm saying a celebrity can lose and that's purely because pat mcafee's like an announcer it's like michael cole coming out and wrestling in, in that sense yeah so all right. um all right so now we got the triple threat uh royal tag team championship match we got orton and riddle versus the street profits versus alpha academy um street profits they have that new attitude now They've kind of like they're more heelish, um, so I think they win. I did not know that about them, but I had Street Profits yeah. written down. Uh, I think <laughs> this uh, they have a little more edge to them now. Yeah, yeah I th- think uh, I I hate looking around and seeing that I've won two. This is the fourth title change out of the six title matches, and that's what makes me iffy because this could go the other way purely because i don't like seeing all title changes I, wrestlemania doesn't usually have that many title changes um but i'm still going to street profits i f- i feel like alpha academy is kind of alpha academy i feel like would be good too here um i think a lot of people are expecting some type of turn between orton and riddle i think that happens monday um if it happens, I still don't want it to happen. I don't either, but I, I feel like if it happens, I, I called this with I you. I really want the unprecedented thing and Orton be like, hey man, we're just not gelling anymore. Yeah. Shake hands. Uh, if we were in a match, I will RKO the shit out of you. Uh, or just but like, I love hey, you, buddy. like, hey, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going for Flair's record. Uh, but yeah, I told I'm you, I'm going to be. I think I told 16. you back at the Royal Rumble that um, everybody's expecting Orton to turn, and I expect Riddle to turn, and I still feel like that's where it's going. Um, so yeah. that would be it, where like you said, Orton's like, hey, you know, I'm my career's winding down. I've been wanting to hit that record. Um, you know, One it's been shot. fun, and I, I was still watching back when you needed it, but I got to focus on me, and then Riddle turns on him. Um, and then you yeah. start a riddle or in singles thing. I'm just sick and tired of turning all the time. Like yeah. it has to be a turn. Like I wouldn't mind if the one person turns bad and then they end up in a match together. Like, ah, oh, you used to be different. All right, well, we're going to beat the crap out of each other. But like, but that's not be the crux of the reason they turn. Just be like, not oh, the catalyst. Should I say like, they shouldn't be the catalyst of it. They should just be like, Hey, we're done. Right. Yeah, we're done. I mean, that, that's what, Everything you're saying, I think about what AEW just did with Danielson and Moxley. You've seen yeah. it and you expect it. Like, oh, they're going to shake hands at the end of this match. They're going to team up for a little bit and then Danielson's going to turn on him. Like, you're already, like, you're in WWE booking when you see that started. And you're like, but yeah. they're going to give us bangers and matches, so it's all right. And then bring away Regal and you're like, wait, are they really going to make this long term? Like... Like and legitimate, they so far, like they're yeah. making a group out of this, <laughs> which is nice. I like, I like when they subvert ex- expectations. Yeah. Again, sometimes, you know, the most obvious thing shouldn't happen, and but sometimes it should. If you told me six months from now that William Regal and Danielson turn on Moxley, I wouldn't be shocked. No, we're either. preconditioned though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. All right. Let's, so, so let's get to what is. So Most now we get to the last the three. match of both nights. Yeah. So we got Edge versus AJ Styles. Uh, I'm going to go with Edge. I'm going to go with Edge. He's got the new music from Alter Bridge, uh, a, new, a newer song from them, which is not that much newer. It's like two albums ahead of Metalingus. <laughs> or two, uh, like further on. Um, I, this is going to be, honestly, I. I between both nights, this is going to be a match of all of WrestleMania. This is going yeah. to be the one that you watch. This is going to be the one that some kid out there is like, I want to be a pro wrestler. This is the match. This I, is that Austin Bret Hart. You know what I mean? Like, that's the match. I have literally changed my answer just by you talking. And there's nothing you said yeah. that changed it. I'm it's actually just, going AJ Styles. Uh, also, very happy if he wins. I was convinced. i if AJ wins. I was convinced of Edge, and I'm just thinking to myself, I'm like, AJ's been teaming with Omos. Um, what could catapult AJ back into a title singles picture more mm. than him beating a heel edge yeah. um, on the greatest stage? And I don't know that... I mean, I don't know for sure, but does Styles really have like that big WrestleMania win? Like, I'm trying to think. Like, I think he beat Jericho, he beat right? Shinsuke. Yeah, but that match was not good. Um, 
compared to the other ones no yeah yeah right. I, it, it was a disappointing match I, i'm saying like him and jericho i think had a really good wrestlemania match right that was good um yeah and him i and think shane he had a beat... surprisingly decent one too yeah you said him and shane yeah it was actually kind of decent but i mean like edge AJ, is though. like uh you know I, I guess i'm looking at like no knock on nakamura no knock on shane i, I mean the undertaker right but the undertaker beat him a right? boneyard match yeah that was fun um but the Undertaker beat him in that match, right? And mm-hmm. I think AJ had that big win on Jericho, like his first WrestleMania. Um, yeah. I know AJ beat Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens in the same match when we were there in Dallas. Um, that was like the two on one for the forgot about the title. That. Um, but like I don't know, I feel like this could be big for Styles, especially yeah. get him back in the main event picture and i feel this like is definitely one where you convince me otherwise i'm yeah. gonna stick with edge but i'm like yeah no, just i was originally with now. edge because i'm like I-, I always think whenever they put a guy like edge who-, who could be done tomorrow they try not to have him lose but then i'm also thinking from a uh, old school wrestlers mindset of hey i we can put on a banger of a match and it's all right um i don't need to win and aj probably needs it more yeah, um, Edge doesn't have an ego, which is nice. So, yeah, exactly. and neither of them have egos, right? So th- this is th- I, this is also why I probably think it's going to be the match of the of the night and of both nights. So I'm just happy. Yeah. I I don't think th- there's no. It's not a hardcore or anything, right? It's just a match, right? Oh, just a match. Yeah, just a normal so that's, match. That's what I'm excited for. Doesn't need to be too crazy. It's going to be good. Uh, Finally, we get to see AJ Styles versus Edge. So then, what's really going to be the match at night is next: Bobby Lashley versus Omos. Yeah, this is a weird one. Uh, I um, shout out to Bobby Lashley for being healthy quicker than I thought he was going to be. Um, what I heard is rumored. I was like, that's strange. But <sighs> I'm going to go with Lashley. Almost is probably winning though. Yeah. It depends on what they want to do with almost, but I feel like almost might win. Uh, and I, I'm I, still going to go with Lashley because I actually love him as a wrestler. I think you just actually weirdly hit the nail on the head without even realizing you did. Um, <laughs> I don't think Lashley is back completely. Oh, you um, don't think so? I think he's going to get squashed um, and then be put back out of commission. Like, you know them saying, "Oh, he came back too early." Like I think he's probably healthy enough to wrestle, but not to really wrestle. Not um, do a full match. And not I do think all the craziness this, he's been doing. It's going to be a weird way to be able to write him off. I feel um, like SummerSlam. Yeah, which which is weird to me because I feel like, hey, you brought him back, and they're going to write him off again. But I have, yeah. I just, I feel like they were like, we need to feed almost somebody believable Big. that he can squash, yeah. and Lashley's going to be out anyway. Lashley has the excuse that he wasn't fully healthy. Yeah, you know, yeah, if we that ever works. want to come back to yeah. this, but it's still a name having almost come out and beat Happy Corbin. It's just not going to have the same effect as him beating no, no. Lashley, so. uh, a former world world champion. Yeah, uh-huh. as of freaking like September, you know, or August or whatever. Yeah, so yeah, yeah I think that's where this is going. It's yeah. almost beats Lashley. Probably pretty quick. Yeah. Um, so here we go. All the right. main, well, event. main event of both nights. We got the unification, the unification match, Brock which we're Lesner. getting a new title. Brock yeah, Lesnar yeah. against Roman Reigns. I hope they give us the yeah. Fiend title back. Oh my God! Can you imagine? They open the case and like, <laughs> yeah, Wait, what? it's just the case in there. I'm like, oh, yeah. he's back. I, I read oh. somewhere that I think somebody like. Somebody predicted that that's like what's going to happen is that Bray oh, Wyatt's going to show up at the end of this match. I wish like, that would be awesome, but um, no. Yeah, but <laughs> could you imagine? I it was funny that that sounds hilarious. Them just having a box and and Reigns wins the title and goes out and he's like, "Give me this new title," and he opens it up and it's just the Fiend thing. Fiend's face. And I do yeah. like that. Um, you know, the, the, screeching, the, the screeching noise. Yeah, it just goes black. You know, it just goes black and he's just standing. Yeah, I'm getting goosebumps because that would be awesome. <laughs> but, uh, uh, now we, we know, I mean, I, I'm going to assume it's more likely that we hear the Rocks music after Reigns wins. And it oh, that's even cooler. Sets up yeah. Reigns against 39. The Rock. Because they're, they're Hollywood next year, right? They're California, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, that works out. 
or LA or whatever the hell they yeah. are. So yeah, um, I love that we both, by the way, have, have predicted our way. It's rains. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it hits his time. The, he and I liked um, how succinctly he put it on uh, the Tonight Show uh, as this recording two nights ago. Uh, now, what time it? <laughs> uh, two nights ago, when he was on the Tonight Show, he said, um, he, "You know, he, Jimmy said something. Was like, what, what do you know? What do you think? What are your prediction is going to happen?" He's like. This is closing the chapter. This is it. This has to be it. This has to be the end. And I was like, "Oh, wow! What a what a book that you guys wrote. A little weird in the beginning, a little better in the middle, and now Brock and Roman are in a way different place than ever in their, both their careers. Um, Brock is fun to watch. I still will put that caveat that he never needed to eat that win." Rollins could easily eat that win in day one. Anybody else could have ate that win, and Brock Lesnar could still be champion, and all the BS that happened after, you know, could still happen. Mm. Um, but uh, they have a they have a weirdly special chemistry, them two. Yeah, and I kind of I'm excited to see this book close. And Roman winning is going to be good. They'll boot they'll boost the ratings for both shows, and then eventually, I I, I wonder what our new title is going to be. Because they they've already basically internal reports have reported that like there is another world title going to be introduced down the line. Yeah, this um has. I don't think I'd be disappointed either way. Um, written on it, yeah. if Lesnar were to win, it would be interesting, in the sense of like um, where do they go from here with Lesnar winning. Yeah. Because now, like, Reigns has been so unbeatable. To have Lesnar... He literally sells a god mocher. Lesnar was already viewed as unbeatable. Now the guy who nobody could touch just lost (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) to this guy who already couldn't be beat. Uh, It's just... I I don't... It is that that, uh, Gorilla Monsoon line, right? The immovable force versus the uh, immovable object. Like, it's... yeah. Yeah, um, that's, I, I, I think Reigns should win. Uh, it's one of those things. I think Reigns winning is predictable in a good way. Um, but I think Lesnar winning is like, all right, where do you go from here? As long as they have a plan, which WWE is yeah. not known for plans. Yeah. Um, hey, we talked about it many times. Yeah. I'm, you know how I am about belt designs. I'm, I'm really intrigued what we get for this new belt design if it's just right. universal title with like new swoosh logo that's been kind of rumored um i don't know what we get uh, i'm excited to see what this new belt is i'm excited to see what the time frame is for a unified champion what's it called is it called the universal title moving forward now right. that you know do we sunset the wwe title finally after it like 70 years, 60 years, or whatever. Is the um, Universal Champion... Now, I, I don't know this. <laughs> is yeah. it known as the WWE Universal Championship, or is it just known as the Universal, Universal Championship? Championship? My guess is... The WWE, Universal, the WWE Championship. Universal Championship. Yeah. Uh, I just... I don't know. I, I kind of figured that, too, actually. Th- that's why I asked, because I'm like... I know every time I read it, it always says Universal, so if they don't mm-hmm. say it as the WWE Universal... Um, it's the easiest way <laughs> to just name true. it. You know? True, true, true. It actually yeah, doesn't I, sound I'm, awful together either. Yeah, I, I'm hoping they knock it out of the park and, and not... Typically, with, when new belts are introduced, if it's a good design, I'm hesitant at first. Like, the uh, North American title, I've always been like, ooh, I don't know. And then, like, two months in, I'm like, ooh, I love it. Um, I, I hope it's. I hope I just love it off the bat. Right. I'm very. I don't know why I'm so particular about belts. I love the belt design. Um, but yeah, uh, Rome is Rome is winning. Yeah. It's it's going to be good. He's going to finally. This win will cement him as one of the greatest of this generation. Um, and it's easier to see him ascend to this point now because, in a way, WWE listened to us finally. And even though he is technically down our throwing, he's been a dominant champion for over a year and, and, you know, more than, I mean, almost two years at this point. Um, it's how they've booked him 
Right. Um, his character and everything. Cena was never given this chance. Um, it, it's been rumored. Oh, not even rumored. He Cena has confirmed that he had everything from music, Titantron, new gear, top down toys. Everything was ready to go. Merchandise for a heel turn. And at the last second, Vince stopped. Yeah. And I think if they were to pull that trigger back in the day with Cena, it would have been a lot easier to cement Cena as the greatest of that generation. We now we never it would have been so much as a fight from a lot of us, right? A lot of internet wrestling community people. It is weirdly um reminiscent of uh, we we never actually got to do um Scott Hall episode uh yes. I, I don't know that yeah. we will now but we were going to do it late the last week um you know r.i.p scott hall and yes. i haven't actually said it uh but i was going to when we were talking about possibly doing an episode the one thing i was going to say about it and, and it's reminiscent of the same thing with that hogan was being booed constantly and they needed to do a change and it made hogan cool again um mm-hmm. I, nwo and i will i will die on this it says no reason. It's nothing to do with Scott Hall being gone now. Scott Hall made the NWO cool. If anybody, if anybody says it was Hogan or Nash, they're lying to themselves. The coolest thing about NWO when that first started was Scott Hall. Hogan was the <laughs> same guy. <laughs> it was being yeah. booed constantly. He's what got them booed, I think, more than anything. When the yep. trash got thrown in was because it was Hogan. People were already pissed at him anyway. And um, it was cool to see something we never saw from him. Yeah, but but, the, but that's like a, Hollywood but, Hogan. Yeah. And was, and that's that's where I'm saying like Scott Hall brought the cool fact when it came to that. And I just wanted to throw that out there because that was one of my main points when we were going to do it was Scott Hall was the coolest thing about NWO. And then the others were uh, Scott Steiner. You know, they brought a lot more of the cool points. I know Nash probably thinks he was a big deal with them. And, yeah. and he was. I'm not going to lie. The, the trio of them. But what made people, I think, is like weirdly like um, DX. I was a Triple H fan. Uh, but he wasn't a lot of people's cup of tea. What made DX cool when they first started was Shawn Michaels, yeah. not necessarily Triple H. Uh, you know, it's the same idea. I think Scott Hall was the cool. That's why they always had to come out with the hey yo and doing the um. Yep. Oh yeah. You know the um, taking the pole and stuff like that. He always got the crowd into it, um, and I think he just he exuded that like it is cool to be a bad guy. You know, then and, it was infectious throughout the NWO. Yeah, yeah I, agree. yeah, I feel like they all fed off that. But that's as, as reminiscent of that. Where Hogan, we might remember him differently if that doesn't happen. You know, I'm saying like our generation might remember him yeah. differently as a wrestler if they kept pushing the eat your vitamins, say your prayers, Hogan. Oh yeah, he would have been and that. He never that became NWO. Yeah, he was one of the greatest of all time. He was corny though. And he was this. Yeah, how a lot it, of people talk about Cena. And he was the same thing. Cody Rhodes just dealt with the same fucking thing. Same mm-hmm. thing. Hogan's on every poster on TV shows, doing this, that, and the other thing. He's not showing up to pay per views or, or not showing up on Mondays because you know he's filming Thunder in Paradise, and the fans knew it. It's the same thing. Cody legit was doing with the same thing. And Roman, Roman, one thing he had was he was not all filming a bunch of stuff. You know, so I feel like he didn't generate that heat yet. Yeah, he was there. <laughs> yeah, he was. What if he started die, like he doing TV shows on top of it, he was going to get bigger go away heat than he was getting in Philly for the Royal Rumble. Um, but like you said, they made that switch. But Cena got the heat for the same reason. Cody got it. Hogan got it. Um, they've all gotten that same heat. Uh, as in like oh you think you're better than us um you know and not that you think you're better than us but oh like like you think you're the face of this company <laughs> yeah it, it's too much you yeah. know and not not to get too far because this is a longer episode again that we, damn it, yeah. we try every hey, time. It, it, it this is a two nights and we did pretty good 14 i, I was gonna say 14 matches we, we're talking about here yeah um 
to to kind of end it here, but like I, one of the if they were to switch Roman today or like this this Sunday and make him a face again, I think all the work he's done as a heel has propelled him to become a new version of a face Roman. That will be very interesting to see. And then they know it works if he goes heel or face. He is going to be one of those um, in those conversations. Like, who's the best of this? The new generation, right? So many people say Brett and, and Sean. Who's one of the best of like this Roman Reigns generation? It's going to be Seth and Roman. Um, and I was always more of a Roman fan than a Cena fan. Like, But it was getting too much with the pushing us down our throat i mean he it it had such a bad taste that very casual fans like i have my my one of my best friends joey will watch he's like why the fuck is roman champion like this is fucking ridiculous he sucks i'm like no no you know you have not been watching he is fucking amazing right now he's like but he's still champion like yeah we want him to be this champion Mm -hmm. this is what we want it yeah i'm happy he's champion now like it, it they could transition him as a face and he would still be believable. He would still have that cool factor and they know they could switch him back at any time now. Like they, it's not an experiment. Yeah. I think you still be the face of a company and be a heel. It was the same thing with, with Cena in, in the sense that like Cena was cool when he first started. And I mm-hmm. guess there was a little bit, he was, bit, he was, bad, he, yeah. he was the, with the rapper gimmick, stuff like that. It was, it was cool. And, and at the time, he was cool. You know, Eminem was big, and, and he was mm-hmm. a white rapper, and he had an album and all that stuff. And then it, I think Cena is like a weird and, – and Reigns fell in the same case where um, he was still dressing the same, still using one of his album songs, yet suddenly he was ex-military um, – Again, Hogan, say your prayers, eat your vitamins, hustle, loyalty, mm. respect. I will yep. never give up. You know, he'll I'm never, never turn, turn heel me. And he's like, here's my heel turn. And uh, put his heel in the... And, and the camera goes up to his face. And he's like, I love this when everybody's booing him. Like, mm-hmm. dude, go home. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, stop. And Cody just did the same thing to us. He just fed the whole... I'll never turn heel. You can't turn me. You were there when I was down. I know you can be there when I'm down again. And it's like, read the room. Read yeah, the room. read the room. That's what this comes down to. You're not going to be able to turn this. You're too far gone. You need to do something. Cena could have stayed a face that whole time if he just kind of changed his gimmick a little bit. And, and mm-hmm. Raymond, that uh, Raymond Roman. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say Reigns, and then I started to say Roman. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, he found that same thing. He was still the Shield Roman. He was yeah. still dressed as the bad guy Roman. That yeah, we Ambrose remember. and Rollins changed, and he never did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah you, he was the one that stayed, which didn't make any sense because out of the three of them, Ambrose made the most sense to stay in that. Like he mm-hmm. would have, I think, pulled that gimmick off as a good guy because yeah. he seemed unstable you know that was the whole push of him mm-hmm. Reigns, Reigns is now coming out as in like kissing babies I'm gonna be your next president I'm I'm such a great guy Yeah, dressed up as the same greasy haired come through the crowd bad Had guy that he was before yeah. and mm-hmm. it's the same music same everything and it's like you can't just make us forget that this was what he was before. <laughs> like you yeah. can't just make us forget He's it. He's just by himself now. <laughs> it, like you're in my mind, and it's unfair to the talent because you can't blame him for this. You can't blame Cena for this. You can't blame Hogan. Uh, you might be able to blame Hogan for this. Uh, I don't think you can even blame Cody completely for this. And uh, maybe you can with AEW. Um, I don't know. That it was completely in Reigns's power to change it. Like you said, yep. Cena got turned down. Cena would have probably gladly done it, but he was making too much money with all the other stuff and the Make a Wish and all that stuff. They didn't want to change him. I think Reigns is Reigns has proven he's versatile enough that he could have changed it in his favor. Uh, and I felt like they were like, no, 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 what you're doing is working. And it's like, what? Again, read the room, Vince. 
Like, I, yeah. Like, yeah, his it, merchandise is selling people. That's fine. I guarantee you he's selling so much more now than he was before. I just yep. guarantee he is. And, and Oh, I was this close to buying that God mode shirt. Yeah. I saw it in my email. I was like, ooh, I should buy that. I was like, wait, but hold that, on. What? That's what, like, I, I don't think you realize. Like, Cena, I feel like, might have lost out on a lot of merchandising if they just had him not even necessarily turned heel, but tweener, uh, edgy. Yeah. Uh, make you give some type of uh, I don't know. You would prefer Randy in that generation because of that, because he was that tweener. He could go bad. He could go good when he was bad. He was so sadistic. And he, you know, like, and, and he might be a perfect example. His gimmick has changed a lot and not at all, all at the same time. Yeah, he's really been a lot of variations of what I assume Randy Orton is, yeah. without going completely like coming out in a top hat and monocle you know what i mean like they didn't have to completely mm-hmm. change his look and, and that's and that's coming from vince right so like why is vince doing that with this but not with cena i mean well i mean it, we, I, we've seen the same thing with rollins and reigns for a while yeah, rollins was true, able true. to to evolve and do other things mm-hmm. and reigns wasn't you know why because randy was two yeah he was never uh, you viewed as funny. the guy Dude. We have to end it here just because we're going to yeah. keep going <laughs> on this. But and I'm getting tired because <laughs> I have a day job tomorrow. Um, but let, let's end this here. I'm excited about WrestleMania, but we should definitely revisit this subject, like especially the Cena portion of yeah. it, because I feel this is a good 40 minute conversation now, to yeah. talk about. Cena. Yeah, now it, it would be not it would especially be- in hindsight now that he's like pretty much done. Yeah, I I love comparing those four. Some honestly that I just did because I, I feel yeah. like they've all they've all hit that same wall. Um, Reigns, Hogan, uh, Cena, and, and to a lesser extent, Cody. Uh, Cody yeah. was the AEW version of of these guys. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, now nah, it would be interesting. Yeah. So Reigns is winning. He's getting a new belt, and then yeah. I guess by SummerSlam we'll get a second world title. And maybe if Cody's not buried by then, maybe that's the title he goes for. Who knows? Yeah, maybe maybe they bring in the USA title. Like not United States, like the USA Network title or or um, yeah. Fox Fox Championship. Cody can be the first winner of that. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, I don't think I'm watching live. <laughs> after all these I, predictions, I, well, we do have the um, interview on Saturday. It yeah, would be interesting. I will if, have it on uh, the background. We're doing an interview. Uh, that'll be nine o'clock. I honestly don't even know when the shows are starting. I I feel. Awful that we're doing a wrestling podcast. It's just hard for me to watch WWE. It just is. Uh, I yeah. I, I, well, also it, we not forced, but it kind of helps that we're also we're we having a guest that is only available on yeah. uh, on April second. Well, I, but I, it's going to be interesting because what if you know Cody does appear because we can break the news to him that is his coach. <laughs> Peacock makes it easy now for me to go back and rewatch it, and I guess that's the like the WWE Network did the same thing. Yeah, it made it easy. It, it has gotten better. It I made it easy for me to not Peacock. watch it live between mm-hmm. Twitter and Wrestle sites. If something it, sounds interesting, I will go back and watch it. Yeah. Uh, so I think that's the other bit of this a little bit. That is the benefit of that, and um, and it, it's hard with. Uh, I would say, I don't know what night I was going to be able to tune in live anyway. It. It is always difficult with little ones. Yeah, I, I always feel like I it's it's unfair for me to be like, hey, you only got half an hour, Daddy. Guess what we're doing? <laughs> Wrestling. Uh, I can't do that two nights in a row. I th- can do that every once well, in a while. That's what, the funny thing is, I, I will say this: it, it, every year I used to watch this with Walton. Um, you know, a, a whole bunch of us would meet up. The two nights makes it like, eh, now. I'd rather watch seven hours on one night because it was like a night out. We all hang out. You know, we talk through the the matches we don't give a shit about kind of thing. And Mm -hmm. now it's like, I'm I'm not going to go drive out to his house back to back nights. Now, which night do I pick? Well, I mean, I don't have a normal Monday through Friday job, but he does. So yeah. I'm sure he probably prefer I come Saturday, but I'd probably oh, the prefer to you go. you leave, he can go to sleep. Yeah. yeah the, or I'd even pref- Sunday. Yeah, I'd prefer to go Sunday because that's going to be the more interesting main event. So. Nah, real life sucks. Real yeah. life sucks. Yeah. It was so weird. I was, I will, a little antidote. A, 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 antidote? Antidote. Antidote. Before I leave, I'm getting so tired. Holy shit. An- anecdote. Uh, 
I think. Anecdote. <laughs> there you go. I, I woke up this morning and I was not, not bad stressed, but I was happy stressed because it was like, all right, so we got this night. I want to do this tonight. And then we got Austin on Saturday. Uh, not Steve Austin. Maybe down the line. Austin, <laughs> a.k.a. Uh, Assassin, a.k.a. 47. Uh, and not Aries I, either. Uh, no, please, uh, please tune into this interview. It's not. No, no. Nope, nope, he ain't nope, controlling nope, our narrative. No, we're going to do that. Get out. Nope, nope. We don't talk about that. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck that guy. Um, so, yeah, yeah, we have him Saturday. I have another podcast I'm doing, um, Nerdy Day Wise, with the Elitist. I, fa- I feel like I'm just promoing myself at this point. Yes. And I just did an episode tonight uh, of Nerdy Day. And I'm like, oh, man, I have a lot to do this weekend. And I was like, oh, shit, it's WrestleMania. <laughs> And Tara's like, what? I was like, yeah, it's WrestleMania weekend. She's like, huh, that's crazy, right? You didn't even think about it. I was like, no, I really didn't. I did and didn't. Like, I knew it was coming, and I just totally blanked. I was like, so Sunday? She's like, if you want. I was like, you don't want me to watch it now, do you? She's like, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank God for Peacock Network. So I'll, I'll yeah. catch it eventually down the line. And obviously, we have Twitter. I would love to be up to date. I would love to do, like, the live tweets and stuff. But I, I you know. I, I, you know, I'm oddly excited for Saturday. I mean, I'm, it's going to be on the shorter side of that interview. Um, it'll be a fun interview, but right. it'd be really cool if that does chime out. <laughs> I don't know what he knows. I will preface that. Um, I have no insider knowledge if Cody will be there Saturday. I honestly just because of dirt, he's highly assumed that he's showing up. Yeah. Austin, Austin has not conveyed to me. Um, and no offense to Austin, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be like, hey, man. Cody just coming up to him. Hey, guess what, man? Guess what? I'm gonna be Saturday, uh, Dallas. Yup, yup. Seth Rollins, me and Seth Rollins, buddy. Just don't tell anybody. Like I'm mm. highly doubt it, but it'd be really cool if we all share that moment. That yeah. happens. That happens. So, yeah. it's gonna be like interview, interview, interview. Holy shit! Hey, your coach just showed up on WWE. Interview, interview. Done. <laughs> but uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I think that's it, right? Yeah. So this. We recorded this Thursday night. Should be out Friday morning. Um, yeah. So just for you, Corey Cudney. I told you, sending this right to you, buddy. <laughs> so he's already uh, in Dallas. Actually, you should be leaving for Dallas this morning. So, so I'll send it to him. If if you're listening to this, hopefully um, Sunday, Monday morning, somewhere in that way, we'll have this interview out that we're doing on Saturday. So that's exciting. And please go back and watch the week, yeah. the draft. Yeah, it's just did. fun. Um, I say, I watched both parts. Two parter. Uh, I'll probably have graphics out in the next couple of days that show our rosters. We'll probably let people vote on them. Uh, I wanted to. I was. I haven't told you about this, and, and I will later. But I think maybe you know, thinking some type of contest where people come up with a roster that we didn't pick because there's a lot of people out there. I I said Sasha oh, Banks that night. Had. Nick and Mark already. <laughs> I said Sasha already, Banks that other night. Than you people I, were like, hey. I didn't realize you picked her. I, I said that that night. I said Sasha Banks, and I, I looked at it again. I was like, "Oh crap!" Carlos picked her in like the fourth round. Um, mm-hmm. Sammy Guevara actually was one name I did not say that nobody mm-hmm. actually picked. So uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So if anyone else wants to participate, with yeah, you hear all this, it sounds Ace interesting. And then rest pass. Yeah, don't have you have to all, all you have to do is follow the apron work rules. Yeah, obviously you can't steal because it's not live, but yeah. you have to follow those rules. And yeah, build your roster. Yeah, I don't comment know. down below. I don't know. We might maybe we'll do some type of a comp contest or something if, if we get enough interest of people doing that. Yeah, you that. get our love and affection. Yeah. yeah. So I will show um, my nipple to you. <laughs> just one. Uh never mind. Everybody just quit the contest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody out there. Um, <laughs> Somebody's gonna submit twelve submissions. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh so um on that note, uh WrestleMania weekend. Have fun for those of you who are into WWE. Don't let me, what I'm saying, make you not watch it. Uh, if, if you want to watch, watch it. I hope it's good um, for the sake of everybody. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. So, on that note, we'll, uh, we'll see you when we see you.